Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech again. This is Kevin. So today we're going to talk about launching clips. So in the past video, I showed you how to arrange your clips into different scenes in your Ableton and then you can uh, play those scenes by launching them. And then actually you need a trigger to launch them. But before we launch, um, just to show you, uh, so I have different scenes here, so you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, so so many, so many of them, and then um, in order to launch one scene, right? So it means if I launch, all of these different instruments aligned in this row will play all together, and then I have assigned it as in the tempo of one to eight beats per minute. And then this one is at 70. Actually, this one is just one song, as I've discussed before. And then if I launch them, it will play all together. This one, but by scene, okay. Uh, not all of these will play at the same time, but by scene meaning row by row. But in to order to trigger them, uh, I, I assigned, uh, for example, here you can see this scene, this row, is signed with the number two on my MacBook keyboard. Three for this one, four, five, six, seven. So I have assigned it as such. So how you can assign, you just, again, click key and then press this one. Then if you want to assign number, uh, for example, Z, I can change it, then it changed to Z. I will put it back to number two, okay? That's how you assigned the launching trigger. And then um, you have to make sure that, um, okay, you have to go to each clip, okay, make sure that the launch mode is in trigger, okay? So, and then again, you have some here, some more things here, so you have quantization, quantization, and then you have a legato function, so what are these? So let's try to play first, so currently, these scenes are all triggered, so the launch mode is triggered, uh, legato is disabled, and then there is no quantization, okay? So if I play two, as I've shown you, this is launched by pressing number two, it will automatically start. I mean, you can remove the count off, and then if you press this one for example this one is my high verse so it's also trigger same settings no legato quantization none and then the trigger is number seven so if i press seven okay and then um so that's how it would launch if you if your parameters are like this. So once you press the um, the launch key, it will just automatically start. See, every time I press, it just automatically shifts. Yeah, but if I Okay, for example, this one, this, this clip, I double click. And then if I click, if I select trigger and then I press legato, what will happen? So if I play this one for five seconds, when I trigger this, it will play not at the start, but it would play around five seconds after this around five seconds because we chose five seconds for this one so I played five so this one will count off up to five then it will start at the five so basically that the counting will it will this one would follow this so that's why if I press three right you will see the 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 this cursor right is moving already starting here and not at the start of the that's the difference. So if you if you collect 
select this as on legato mode when you press when you play this one for five seconds when you press this it will be around five way five seconds way through the clip so let's demonstrate that so this one again no legato but if you move here it will be on legato mode so let's play so again if i click this you would see that it would not start here but it would start five seconds through the clip okay let's go first here then play see it started already here because it's a continuation of the counting from here so that is the function of your legato but for me i would not do that because um i want every time i trigger the clip it will be on my timing which i would use a metronome to accurately count this off and press this and then if you enable the quantization right so if this is your um quantization if i change it to global somehow there is a bit of delay before this this um clip plays so if i play number four which is this one then i play i press three to play this one because of the enabled quantization there's a count of you see it's counting off before it starts go back and then if i press this again if i launch this you would see this one will blink some, something like it's counting off yeah so that's the difference of using your quantization okay again if you want to if you want to um, make this like play again and again until you move on to the next scene of course you can just play click loop so this would automatically go again and again and again so it will keep on playing and playing until you move to the next scene yeah and then um yes of course if you don't want the loop function just disable it okay okay there are some more functions here that you can do so actually if this is your clip then you want it to automatically move to the next scene then you can automate that as well of course if you're going to move automatically to the next scene then of course this one should be disabled and then you can have a follow-up action here see say stop you want to stop or you go to the next scene okay so we disabled this and then once it completes playing this it would automatically go to the next scene below or you can go to previews or if you are here you want to go back to the first scene you can do that as well so let's try moving to the next I press this one first and it will automatically go there yeah so automatically it moves down why it plays so fast is because there's no count off yeah so I think that's how you use these uh, follow-up auctions and how to move uh, within your scenes and i think that's about it for this video so if you learned something uh, please click like and then if you want to see uh, my other videos please click subscribe again thank you so much for watching have a good day and bye